the Dominican Republic's public transportation in order to find a part because Billy started drilling and stuff and he broke something. I need a drill bit. I'll show you guys when we get back what, what I'm working on here. But uh, yeah, I need a drill bit from the hardware store. It's not any old drill bit. I have a bunch of them, but it's a big drill bit. That's where we're going, into town, into Samana. Apparently the bus comes here at the entrance of the uh, resort property every, I, I don't know if he said 15 minutes or 50 minutes, so might be waiting there for a while. But it's only like dollar a person each way. Yeah. A dollar a person each way. Uh, no, it's not being. We, we, uh, Vominos, Vominos. Easy, easy. Okay, let's go. You want to All right, well, we didn't find a bus. <laughs> we found a motorbike. Whoa. It's not being, amigo. Seriously. Don't, uh, put your feet there. Alright, he wants to stop and take a picture of the whale. Cheese! <laughs> stop again? No problem. Mikey's just giving us a little tour, so I don't know how to ask it. We just went by the harbor where all the other boats are anchored and the whale. get exactly what we needed. Almost. Am I? I knew this was gonna happen. Sierra wanted to get bananas so bad while we're in town. Uh, curious, uh, good night. <laughs> How was that? My mom would kill me if she knew we just did that. That means she would kill me too. <laughs> I wish I was control in control. I wanted to drive that bike. But I think it's different than riding a motorcycle in the States because everyone else is also on a motorcycle. Whereas in the States, everyone's in a car and there's a few motorcycles. So Yeah, like everyone rides those things around here. And so they know that that's what they're looking for. Like the trucks are looking for the motorcycles because they're well, outnumbered. I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> they just know how to drive those, them around here. So this has been like our daily run and walk all the way up to the top of this hill that we showed you guys the other before. And we saw horses, but we've been seeing cows. And now we have a camera, so get ready for some cows. Apparently this property was kind of bought by the resort area. and But I think they bought it from like some local farmers or whatever. So I think they still use the property to like let their cows and horses roam around and eat the grass and stuff. Oh, they're right here. The other ones that went that way. That one looks concerned, the one in the back. Where's he going? She doesn't want to say hi. They're not very social. 
Hello. So this is the main entrance to the hotel, the Bannister Hotel. And we like looked up rates for this place and it's like off season. So it's like a third the price if you want to stay like at a hotel or a villa or whatever. It seems like a really good deal. Like the cheapest rooms were like 120 or 140, something like that. Um, which for as nice as this place is, believe me, is cheap. Yeah, we haven't seen the rooms, but I'm sure they're nice. There's like the mountain view rooms and the ocean or bay. Summoner Bay. So if you guys ever want to come here, do it in off season. And it's way cheaper. And I think it's off season because it's the rainy season, but it's only rained one day since we've been here. Yeah. I think it's still early in the rainy season. I think you, yeah, yeah. But their main season, I think, is like winter, like November through February. Yeah, November, December, January, February. So this has been kind of our routine. Routine every day we've been here is walking jetty in the morning and the evening, and going for our run ourselves up that hill all over this property it's a really great property to run and walk around at the end of our walk or run we go over here for jetty to cool off jay just comes over sits down <laughs> oh you're so beautiful sometimes lays down when she's really hot <laughs> there is a drain. That's where the other pool is, right up there. And then the other pool is way over in that corner over there. That's the lobby area. A little bar. Oh, so this is what I wanted to show you guys the other day, right here. These things should be polished. We didn't have time to polish them before we left, but we'll have to do that when we're in Grenada. Um, Cause it's 316 stainless, but yeah, it should be polished. So water beads off and it doesn't rust. And it didn't have this toggle. So these things were oriented this way. And then when we were sailing with the head tail and it was really windy, the whole luff of the head tail was bending and it was like, pulling these things to the side and since they were like oriented like this way they were just like bending it was no good so it definitely needed a toggle in there so now when it goes side to side it'll just articulate on that toggle oh yeah but the cotter pins were bigger than what they were before so i had to get a bigger drill bit to drill through that and this for the bigger cotter pins and that's why we had to go to the hardware store so we told you this marina is great because it has like good walking trails and pools and everything, but they also have a gym. I'm on the treadmill, Billy is, I don't know what he's doing. And we just took Jetty on a really long walk and she is cooling down on the boat. So here we go. This is it, Rio Los Cocos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed below. Make sure you click the little bell notification button. That's really important if you want to see stuff from us in the future. And follow us on Instagram if you want to be up to date with what we're doing right now. Our handles are in the description and on screen right here as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.